too. I needed to make a short video uh, for myself and for my fellow Americans who are also disabled. Uh, I've posted a bunch of these videos with my uh, crazy and violent abusive neighbors and uh, I'm sure some of you have seen on several of those videos uh, they cast the accusation at me that I am disabled or that I live off the government or that I quote don't work and uh, that's the kind of thing that some low class and small minded people can say about disabled Americans. But anyone who's intelligent enough to uh, have any kind of level of discernment knows that disabled people have to work hard. And that's the reality. But because I know how good I look, I'm going to go ahead and share something with y'all. Uh, when I was 20, about oh, nearly 24 years ago, uh, I was ran over on my motorcycle by a drunk driver. Now, I nearly lost my left arm. That's all steel now. And uh, I was in a coma, and there was a host of other injuries, traumatic brain injury, and the whole night. And uh, it was a long and very arduous recovery, but I did recover even well enough to become a full-time lineman for the telephone company, uh, working climbing poles every day. And I did that work for years, proudly, a union lineman, uh, Michigan Bell, Maritech, AT&T. And uh, I did have an accident at work uh, towards the end of my work career there. A uh, car nearly hit me, and because of the heavy ladder that I was carrying, uh, it damaged my spine. Uh, come to find out, I broke L3, 4, and 5. I was able to continue working for a couple of years, but eventually had to go down for a major back surgery. And then, terrible coincidence enough, while I was uh, down for that back surgery, still with the staples in my back, uh, I got ran over on my motorcycle like, and I was also put into a coma again and very, very deep. Uh, it's been 14 years plus since that happened and I'm still in recovery. So I'm also going to show y'all something a little graphic. So if you don't want to see uh, graphic medical things, go ahead and look away. Uh, this is the leg that the violent neighbor was trying to kick. I still do have to bandage it every day. It's steel from about here down. And uh, I don't any longer have a separate tibia fibula. They're just kind of bone grafted around a, a steel I-beam in there now. And um, I, of course, don't have any dorsal flexion, the ability to lift my foot or anything. But I can still walk, just not like I used to. And uh, not very much, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and show you... Uh, all these years later, almost 15, that's still open to the bone. Still have to heal that. So uh, it's a it's a major injury. And uh, yes, I'm disabled, and I'm not at all ashamed about it. And no one who's disabled should be. We are hard workers. We are the hardest workers. But what I'm making this video about, too, is uh, this guy is a sick sociopath. My family, my entire family here, has heard him repeatedly threaten to kick or stomp my injured leg, which could set my recovery back for years. And he nearly did it today. On video, just merely kicking the wrong leg. Law enforcement has still done that. If anybody could do anything to help, I would really appreciate them reaching out to me. Thank you.